I say, how would you evaluate your first game? Um, I mean, individually, I, I think I played okay. But, uh, I wish we would have came out with the win. That would have been even better. But we'll learn from this and figure out ways to lean down the stretch. Um, knowing this is a young team, we, we made a few key mistakes defensively down the stretch. That, Probably cost us a game, but we'll, we'll, we'll learn from it, watch the film, and, and figure things out. But I, I like I like the pace of this team. I like I like the energy the guys bring. And I mean, coach did the best job he could. I mean, for me to put me in position to, to play my strengths and without like only on a couple of players. Yeah, you just got into the hotel last night and met the team. Yeah. What what were you like? What, what was that limited knowledge? How did that impact the game? And what did you what did Luke try to have you focus on? I mean, just keeping it simple. Um, that was his main focus, keeping it simple, and just trying to put me in the best position to play to my strengths and to make plays. And um, uh, as I get more familiar with the guys and the, the familiar with the playbook, I think it, it'll be even better, especially in close games, executing down the stretch. Um, and we could just go from there. You guys were scoring pretty easily for much of the game as a team. Uh, what did you think defensively, just as a, a unit, what did you see? Um, communication wasn't there for the most part. Um, we played with the energy. Um, they definitely made tough shots, though. But at the same time, when we, did, when we didn't get stops, it was, it was miscommunication. I think that's big, especially on young teams. Trusting each other, making sure we got communication, and making sure we're helping each other. And we did that, but not, not for, for most of the game, and it cost us. I mean that that will come. I mean they tried a little bit in practice, but I mean shoot around and then they put plays on my iPad. So all last night I was trying to trying to study the playbook and um, figure out what they do offensively and defensively. But I mean I've been in this position before with with the Celtics where I got traded and I had to play the next day. So. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time, but I got to do my job of, of, of studying um, what we're doing here. And then I know coach is going to put me in position to be the best I can be in this system. Did that kind of show at the end there in the last couple minutes? Because, you know, they're not able to really run plays for you and you're getting in the pain that nobody goes. Is that kind of a byproduct of not really having any plays? Being I mean, a little bit. I think I had one key turnover where, like, I might have jumped in the air. I don't know where guys are. And that's just getting familiar with each other. I think while we're playing more, practicing more, that will come easier. But at the same time, I mean, it's tough just putting a new guy out there. And I mean, I don't really know any play, so they, they couldn't, we couldn't execute like probably in the previous games that he's played in. I mean, that this team has played in. So we'll learn from this and we'll, we'll build on it and we'll, we'll be better. Are you surprised to play that many minutes? Nah, I could play in this, this league, they just, I'm glad he gave me. I'm glad he gave me the opportunity. But I, I told him I have, I have no restrictions. I'm, I'm able to play, and he gave me the opportunity. Isaiah, basketball grind is your mom, but it's also your lifestyle. What does it mean to you when you see people reach out to you and know that that's their motivation as well? Um, slow grind is is a lifestyle. I mean, life is a slow grind. No matter what you want to be in life or accomplish, it's not going to come like this. It's slow and steady grind. So, I mean, that's been my my model the last eight, nine months because I, I've really been on the slow grind. So it's just something that I guess inspire people that, that, that's on their own grind and just know to keep pushing through, through whatever you're going through. Did it give you a little boost to immediately hit a three as soon as you came in? A little bit. I just wanted to come in with energy. I just wanted to bring something to the table. Um, felt like I got my powers back playing on this team now. So um, I just wanted to bring that energy, bring that intensity and, and make plays. And then they, the ball happened to go in. Any early impressions of, you know, I guess, any teammates in specific, just the guys that you think you could kind of work with and, and work that just even though it was just one night a game? I mean, not really. All these guys are talented, man. I, I watched from afar, like when I wasn't on the team. Um, Brandon Ingram, Kuzma, Julius Randle, always been a tough cover. Um, the list goes on. I, I like playing with Lopez. I, I, I think I can help him out a lot. I mean, I think when it comes to the mental side of things, he gets on himself a lot. And I just tell them to keep pushing, man. We, you're a big part of this this team, and, and we need you. So a lot of young talent, and I'm excited to be a part of this. Last two questions. What do you focus most on you know, as you're getting on the plane, going back to L.A.? 
figure out a place to stay. Like all that, what it was like, did you pack a bag? Like, yeah, what I, I mean, I packed a bag. I'm gonna be in a hotel for a while. I mean, like I said, I've been in this situation before when I got traded in the middle of the season to Boston. So I'm just trying to get my family situated, um, get them out of Cleveland, and then, and then we'll figure out everything else. In your time in the league outside of the basketball court, you made it a point to get involved in the communities that you're in. Why is that so important to you? Um, my parents. I was raised that way. Like, um, at a young age, I was always taught to give back when I when I had something, um, give to others. And I told myself when I was successful at anything in life that I wanted the communities I was a part of. I wanted to be in the community, not just a basketball player. I wanted to show my face and show the kids and, and the community that I'm 